Ahmed, looking back to the fight, some of us in the States were a little surprised when you suggested over there in Manila that you might knock Joe Frazier out in the very first round. Do you recollect? Well, yes, this is uh, psychological warfare on your opponent, like George Foreman. I told him I'm going to dance, I'm going to dance. I didn't dance. Frazier, I told him I'm going to dance, I'm going to dance, and I didn't dance, if you notice. Stayed there, took his shots, used my power. All right, we're going to take a look in slow motion in that first round when you actually staggered him. My intention was to win whatever I could. But I didn't really believe it would end in the first round, but I did tag him in the first round. Now, this is sixth round action, and Joe started to come on strongly. Take over, Muhammad. Well, right now, I'm getting a little tired. Max, he just hit me with a left hook right there. Dazed me a little, so now I'm going into the uh, robot dope style, letting him throw his punches, covering up. Uh, as you see, we're both close by. I imagine we lost four or five pounds apiece. It was hot. Here I'm hitting him with the volley of punches. He just caught me with another left hook. Joe's dangerous and close. He's got a hard left hook. He's not a man from, he don't fight from a range like I'm doing at this moment, but he gets in close and uses his short arms and his muscles, and he's, really, he's a perfect left hooker. How much did he hurt you on this round? Well, this round, I can't exactly remember what happened each round, but he dazed me a couple of times, but I was in such good shape, Howard. I was in, I was serious for this fight. I was in top condition. This was do or die, life or death. So I didn't play. My, my attitude was serious. And um, the punches really didn't hurt me enough to stop me, but they hurt. Now I want to pick up with round 11, where you seem to have drawn upon some inexhaustible resource of energy, and you began your comeback. Take over now. Well, Howard, I realize now the way the fight's been going it could be even some probably might even make me ahead some might make him ahead you never can tell in just a couple of seconds you will begin to score with a succession of flurries always to the head joe's head is the big target isn't it yes i never believe in throwing body punches they're hitting me full five left go. and That's rights right. and uh these are just evening around up because he won the first half and also, I'm burning energy. I'm still getting tired than I already am. But it's something you have to do. And how would I like to say that mentally, uh, that was just trading punches and throwing punches. Mentally, you have to outthink a man. You have to plan your strategy like a horse, man riding a horse. The one who starts off too fast, he tires. You got no when to speed and when to slow up and when to coast and when to rest. And, the experience is what's got me like this. Mm -hmm. The 12th and 13th rounds were overwhelmingly yours. You had started your comeback in the 11th, as we just displayed, and then came the, what proved to be the culminating round, the 14th round. I realized that the fight might go either way, so these last three rounds here, I'm looking for a knockout if I can really get it. Uh, on my toes, taking a lot of energy to do this is time but I'm doing it. And mentally wears the man down and say, you mean after all of this, he's still dancing? Uh, this is just what you see me doing now. I'm just killing him, but I'm doing it. And uh, Frazier stand on me. He's looking to get a shot in close with that hard left hook if you keep watching him. And my main object is the time up in close. And I have to say, Joe Frazier, I want to say here on there, is the greatest fight I've ever fought. And with, he's not a scientific boxer, but he would have to go down in history as one of the greatest heavyweight champions of all times. They might not recognize him, but I'm saying it because I know I could have beaten all the heavyweights in the past, and I don't think none of them would have gave me no more trouble than Frazier. At ringside, I can see Donald King, the great promoter, sitting there. He was looking real worried. I think he had his money on Frazier. <laughs> How do you rate this fight? of all the fights you've fought, and in particular against the first Frazier fight. With the first Frazier fight and the former fight, I rank this is the best. Foreman, I didn't throw too many punches. I just let him do the work. Uh, look, these are left-right combinations that have really done the last minute damage. That left and the right is the worst punch to get hit with is the, what they call the one-two punch. And, uh, can you I, feel the strength ebbing out of them? You can feel it when you land. You can feel the pressure. There, there's another left-right. Right now, I'm feeling real good now. I know there's no doubt now I'm going to win it because of these clear shots. I really believe he's going to go. 
And this is uh, why I'm pressing him like I am. But uh, I'm just call up promoter Donald King, and we're now working on some more fights. And it might be a fourth phase of fight. We never can tell. And so it ended, champ. Finally, two quick questions. The right lead, so effective against Frazier. The reason you're able to throw it now effectively is that the old calcium deposits yes, that used to I hurt you are gone. You used to have to get Novocaine shots before fights to kill the pain. Now, for some miracle, God's blessed me, my hands don't hurt no more. And this is why I'm punching so hard. Okay, last question. You told me three and a half weeks ago, one more fight that you'd had your full of it. One big fight, a lot of money, and that was it. Now there are more fights in the offing. Why? Well, because I've changed my mind. I feel that I can go another few years. The fans want to see it. Things in business I'm trying to do internationally. And being an active champion, I can do more business and other things. And, and I just want to stay active so I can have more power doing things I'm doing on the side. Thank you very much, champ. Thank you for being with us. We enjoyed it, as always. And that, in effect, is our show today. Ali, still the heavyweight champion of the world. Knock it off!